Hello everyone, my name is Kritika from the Kislo product team and I am here to explain about sequence number, its importance and how you can configure it in a form. Sequence number acts as an index number that lets you identify a request easily. To keep a track of requests, a sequence number comes in handy. For example, it usually gets difficult to track deleted requests. However, if you add a sequence number to it, it gets easy to find out which requests have been deleted. There are many other advantages of using a sequence number that will ease our work. Let's see how we can configure a sequence number in a form. This is an advanced payment form and to add a sequence number, I am going to create a sequence number field and name it serial number. As we scroll down under format, select the number of digits you want to use as the sequence number starts from the drop down. I am selecting 001. In prefix, enter what should be shown before the number. In this example, I want the requested department along with the sequence number. So I'm entering the formula concatenate requester underscore department under at what step should the sequence number be generated. I'm selecting start from the drop down. Now that we have finished setting up the sequence number field, let's click simulate to test it. I am selecting the requester department as IT and when I click submit you will notice that the sequence number field has generated the serial number IT003 since we chose the department IT and we chose the format 001. This is how you can configure a sequence number. I hope you found this video useful. I will see you again with another video. Thank you.